For centuries, artists have been at the crossroads of major historic events. The 2020 pandemic has been by far the greatest such event in the lives of many of us, and it's important to capture the response of the arts community during this time. Cape Ann Art Waves, a weekly program hosted by 1623 Studios and co-producers Jacqueline Ganim DeFalco and Christine Fisher, provides a vehicle to have this dialogue in a conversational, informal setting direct from the artists' homes and studios. Thanks to the generous support of our new sponsors, we are excited to present a new slate of artists in 2021. We welcome Prince Insurance Agency, M. Christine Fisher, artist and co-producer of this program, Gibson Sotheby's International Realty, and The Common Crow, along with our partner Sea Arts, for their support in bringing you these important stories. While we prepare for an exciting 2021, join us in celebrating some 2020 highlights. Don Gorvet, artist printmaker of the Don Gorvet Gallery. It, it epitomized what Gloucester was, you know, anchor works and shipbuilding, three shipbuilding yards, and the whole uh, cramped in quality of it and, and uh, it's just the idea that it's buried and interned under Rogers Street. I wish to thank and recognize the important work Cape Ann Art Waves and 1623 Studios are doing for the regional artist community that is an integral part of the Cape Ann economy. The expertly guided interview, behind-the-scenes preparation, and technological know-how were inspiring and reassuring. I am looking forward to promoting the interview in my upcoming newsletter. Jennifer Greek, fashion designer and mixed media artist. When I was in fashion school, um, I realized that what I really loved about clothing was character, design, um, history, things like that, the real nitty gritty of real life. Cape Ann Art Waves gives the audience the opportunity to see the artist, their journey, vision, and process. Not only does introducing the audience to an artist help the artist, it may in turn introduce them to something new to try out for themselves. During the time of isolation, I have been very fortunate to have a passion that keeps me going. I've noticed a surge of people trying out new things as well. Cape Ann Art Waves is another great resource for information. It's critical to have a place to share creative inspiration. Nella Lush, artist and founder of the Rockport Art Association Experimental Arts Initiative. It's a relationship, a uh, interaction with the paint, and it just, things happen in such a magic, mysterious way. It has always been my strong belief that media exposure is not only beneficial, but essential. I have added the interview to the foot of my emails and, of course, on all of my websites. Since my interview, I have received numerous emails from potential new collectors. We must always find ways and venues that promote awareness of how important art is for our communities and life. Jeff Weaver plein air painter, Gloucester, Massachusetts. When you combine the sentimental part of it, the feeling of a place where you live and combine that, you have to combine it with the visual elements mm -hmm. because you're actually doing a picture. And at the end of the day, it's, it's a visual right. form of communication. I enjoyed the opportunity to participate with Jacqueline Ganim DeFalco on Cape Ann Art Waves. The interviews provide an essential service in allowing artists to maintain contact with their supporters, as well as those that may become such in the future. I hope this project will be able to continue to provide this service to the community. Ruth Mordecai, painter. It all revolved around gesture. Mm -hmm. Finding the, the simplest gesture, the strongest gesture within the form, and it kind of took me away from sculpture and into drawing. The fact that Christine Fisher is an artist and understands the collaborative process in the creation of an interview makes all the difference. For the short time we spent together, we covered a lot of ground. Cape Ann Art Waves offers other artists and potential buyers a connection into their work. The timing was so helpful as it was during my exhibition at the Matthew Swift Gallery. Joan Bedees, painter, pastel artist. Because nothing's harder than being given your chance. And so, mm -hmm. and, and you know, I was fortunate in that I do have this chance to, to explore it's something that I feel that is really in my bones. Anticipating the interview gave me purpose, something artists have difficulty with during the pandemic. 
All my art shows were abruptly canceled. Exposure is key. Since my art waves interview and connection with local colors, I've sold four paintings. Our greater community of artists and our champions are a big part of what makes Cape Ann special and such a cultural destination. Cape Ann Art Waves has given artists an invaluable opportunity for sharing their story and work, given the drastic reduction of events and live opportunities during these uncertain times. Co-producers Christine Fisher and Jacqueline Ginnam DeFalco want to thank again our listeners, generous sponsors, partners, Sea Arts and 1623 Studios Media for your support of the program. In 2021, Cape Ann Art Waves will premiere a newly branded look, and each episode will premiere bi-monthly on Sunday mornings. The program airs on 1623 Studios Channel 12 and YouTube and is shared on social media channels Facebook and Twitter. Check the local newspapers and 1623.org website for the weekly TV schedule. Thank you again for tuning in to Cape Ann Art Waves in 2021.